Namaste. Okay, my phone totally knocked me out. So I don't think I have a signal. What I was trying to say is if I can't upload, I might have to just keep all my videos until I get home and then start uploading them. So you might not be able to see anything that's long. Because even though my phone is supposedly connected to my um, sister's Wi-Fi, my brother-in-law's Wi-Fi, it doesn't seem to be. So, I'm really going far. It's just, it's getting to be nighttime, so I'm not good with directions. And anyway, so basically, you might not see this. Let me, let me show you. So this is, this isn't the area I grew up in, but I, this is the place I grew up in. For 52 years, I lived in Staten Island, New York. And, you know, I'm familiar with it. I love when I hear people talking because they talk like me. They talk just like me. So I'm like, ooh, I'm home. Like Christine Valvet, she talks like me. Um, Patricia doesn't exactly talk like me. But I just, when I hear that, the different voices makes me happy. And then I just like, I know, I don't know, like I'm in the store, right? Picking out the vegan cupcakes. And the girl couldn't have been nicer than me. Like describing, and, and, and I'm not saying people in Texas aren't nice, but as soon as I talk, they look at me funny in Texas. They'll be like, oh, you're not from here. <laughs> what made you come here? And as soon as I tell them, it's like there's a coldness or kind of, sometimes there's not a coldness, sometimes there's like a laugh. But uh, at school, there would be a coldness, and then they usually didn't talk to me again. So, yeah. Cops just went by. NYPD. Anyway. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, there was this girl. She was so freaking nice. She was so sweet. And I, got a, I was able to get a coffee and a little... A piece of a brownie that had walnuts in it that, that wasn't vegan hardly anything was vegan um, and then I got coffee cake two coffee cakes one for Patricia but she didn't really she only took a bite Patricia hardly eats at all. she'll eat some candy though you know she'll she likes the candy anyway uh, Oh, right now I smell the pizza place that is not even close to here. So, reason why I'm looking here is because I thought I saw somebody found on me. I'm going to go back to the house and see if I can figure out. Uh, I might go, go to the movies. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm all safe. Because I felt like I had my hood on, so I didn't know who was back there. But anyway, so getting back to this girl that was really nice to me. She was explaining everything, and she was really busy. Like, different people came in and out, and she was just, like, peaceful, not, like, rushing me with my million questions. So, anyway... She was giving me the coffee, and the coffee smelled good. And I said, um, can you pour some water in that? She goes, do you want milk? And I go, no, no, just the two Splenda. She goes, one Splenda? I said, no, two, please. So she goes, um, pour water in here? I go, yeah, just to cool it off a little bit so that I could drink it in the car. Because otherwise it's like a thousand degrees. And then you burn your lip and you can. So she goes, how about I put some 
I put two ice cubes in it. And I was like, even better. Thank you. I know. I didn't know. Like nobody has ever really asked me that. Like they'll look at me funny if I say, "Can I have water in it?" Like they don't get it, you know. So she put in like approximately like probably one big ice cube in it, and it did the trick. So means something to people who like coffee. And I like it hot, so, but I don't want it scalding because then you have to really wait before you eat it. And anyhow, I just wanted to get back to you. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I could just like sit there and wait till tomorrow, you know, because tomorrow I'm supposed to see Laura a little bit, but I'm not sure. Hi. I'm not sure if I'm going to definitely see her. Um, because, alright, so tonight she's working. Tonight is Wednesday, right? I'm going to walk to the end. Ooh. So tonight she's working. Um, what time is she working? 6 o'clock to 5. Um, to 5 in the morning again. And when she's off tomorrow, when she's off on Thursday, um, she had, first of all, she comes home, she has to fall, try to fall asleep by 5.30. And then she stays in bed till 12. So it's really not enough time to sleep. But then she gets up and she takes a walk every day. Every day. And not a, like a walk like me, where it's like... You know, less than 20 minutes. Or sometimes in Texas I would take, try to take my 30 minute walk, but lately it's been less. Because I guess I've been doing stuff, or just like making plans, it's been stressing me out. Anyway, I'll take my hood off for a second. Where we're going, I lived on this block three times in my life, okay? When I first got married, to husband number one we moved to an apartment two bedroom apartment here six months later they told us oh our sister needs to move in so sorry after we painted the whole apartment put in beautiful rugs and, you know and that was expensive for a 22 year old two 22 year olds we were 22 when we got married both of us and all that, all the stuff we did, they knew the sister was coming. They just wanted us to fix up the apartment and didn't think we would take the rugs because they wouldn't fit into the apartment down the street we were going to on this street. So we stayed on the same street. Somebody had an apartment, but that, that apartment was nothing like the first apartment. First apartment looked just like Patricia's. Just like Patricia's house. Had a bedroom, big living room, huge kitchen, just like Patricia's. The exact same apartment. But then the apartment we went to had a tiny bedroom, a really narrow living room. So we had to cut up the rug to make it real narrow. And it just never quite worked. Um, you know. And it wasn't the colors. We didn't paint the colors that we wanted. And then I would say we were only in that apartment. We did get pregnant with Laura. Even though we said we were going to wait five years. Who knows? Okay. Um, so then we moved out of there. We went to Great Kills. Then so it was... I'm not going to say the name of the street, but say the name of the street was Apple. So we lived in Apple, Apple Street um, in 19, uh, 1987, no, 1986. And then we moved out of there, 1987. We lived in two apartments on Apple Street, right? 
my sister Christine lived on Apple Street earlier, like years before that. She had an apartment on Apple Street. And then Patricia moved to Apple Street, right? So that was one for me, one for my sister Christine. Um, then, you know, I got divorced. I was living in an apartment and stuff, and then I got divorced. Me and Patricia didn't see each other for several years, like 10 years or more. Um, then we finally got back together, and I was already divorced and living in um, New Dorp in an apartment. And then went out with Devin for five years, and then we were getting ready to be moving to Texas, but we needed a place to live because Devin had to dismantle his house and sell it. And I had to get out of my apartment by September, September 1st. So I started living with her in August. So that, that means I lived on Apple Street in 86 and 87. Then I lived on Apple Street. I came back in 20, 2015. And then we just lived there a couple of months and Devin moved in too. Um, just as we're waiting to move. <laughs> so, so is that three times? Okay, anyway. So Apple Street has been very, very, very... That's why I know this area. I used to wheel my daughter to the uh, doctor's office. All walking distance. I used to do a lot of walking here. When I was pregnant with her, for some reason I walked more. When I was pregnant with my son, um, I wasn't walking as much. We lived in Huguenot in, in a condo, and there was plenty of places to walk, but I didn't walk as much there. We had a big built-in pool that was the community pool. But anyhow, yeah, I didn't walk that much there. Um, so walking has always been very good for me. Uh, but I just have to do it. I just have to make it a part of my life. Because um, I don't enjoy the gym. I mean, every once in a while, like when it's really bad weather, I'll say, oh, yeah, it's not bad to be in the gym because, or it's really hot weather. You can't, it's too scalding to be outside. Then it's okay. But generally, look what I see. Beautiful tree, flowers, houses, almost every house in Staten Island has, has upstairs, upstairs, has a downstairs, then has a basement. Over in this area, they're all mother-daughters, so what that means is they have apartments that they either rent out to family, like my sister never rented hers out. She can get probably a thousand dollars because it's two bedroom, but she prefers to keep it in the family. So her mother-in-law lived there, I guess for 10 years before she passed. She came from South Carolina. And then my sister's friends, when they need a place to live in between moving, they come there or they come to visit and uh, this this dude over here I get to go there and I really love it because I showed you you know it's perfect it has I mean she doesn't have Netflix so let's not get crazy but yeah I'm thinking about like she still looks at me as a little kid because I'm the youngest and she's the oldest but, like, if I want to just go and jump in a cab and go to the movies, then I jump in a cab to come back, I'm going to do that. She'll probably be sleeping. But she worries. Like, she's like, why can't you just stay and watch TV and have a down day? But, I'm, you know, I want to do something, you know. Like, I don't want, I could sit and watch a movie and be in a movie theater. Um... Laura might try to 
have time to take me to a movie, but it's not looking good. <sighs> Even though she only works Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, and she has her dog walking things that she has to do, but she has to sleep because her schedule is, you know, so I'm trying to fit in all of my friends, which aren't that many, trust me. I already saw one, and then I saw Laura's friend um, from, she knows Laura since she's Violetta, since she's in fourth grade, fourth or fifth grade, when we moved to Bay Terrace. So, yeah, and don't forget, I've lived in 14 places, and I don't want to move again. But I'll always come to visit, as long as God's willing. Tomorrow I'm going to see my work, my co-worker that I worked in a school with for eight years in Staten Island School. And she was very good to me. She was what? actually my best friend from school and so I every time I come back and do the Brady tour and like I have a, such a big family that I don't get a chance don't get a chance to see her and it's like it's crazy because she lives right here here so it's just very busy when you live in when you have a, like our parents are dead so no, and I know that sounds mean, but that's the truth. They're long gone. My mother since 1983, and I was 19, and she was only 53, and my father since I was 26, so it's like pff, wiped out. So your siblings become your everything. At least I try to make it that way. So I still have three siblings that I didn't see, I'd like to see them, but I don't have a car. Um, and that's what I said to them is, if you could Uber it, you know, or drive to me, then let's make plans that way, you know. But two of them probably won't. My brother, I don't know, like, I could be available for him uh, Sunday? Yeah, I could be available for him on Sunday. He could take me all the way to Tom's River and I could sleep over there. But is he going to want to do that? Drive, you know, from his house. Like, he'll complain that it's too much. But, hey, I flew 3,000 miles to be here. Okay? So, everybody else, this is the only time. I always say it, but it never works out and I usually end up pushing myself to go in an Uber here, going over there. But I said, you know what, this time I just want to be for Laura's birthday. And I want to, you know, of course see Trisha. Um, and I just want to take it easy and people can come try to put an effort to see me. And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm sorry. But last time when me and Devin came in, um, we had to go see his aunt, his daughter twice, the, um, graveyard, his parents' graveyard, because he lost his parents, too, a long time ago, but not as long as me. He was in his 30s, but, um, you know, he wanted to go maintain the graveyard in Brooklyn, and so we had to go there. It wasn't easy to get there. Put all stuff on the graves and then it was my nephew Sean his memorial um, so it was very emotional and my sister and my brother-in-law Jimmy made did a beautiful job they did a really nice job um, but my sister had taken a fall um, not too long ago the same one that's always having trouble with her kidney stones too her and Devin tease each other who has the biggest kidney stone um, but anyhow she took a fall and fractured her hip so she can't she can't drive I don't think much um, yeah 
So, I think we're here. Like when it gets really dark like this, sock this is, like I can't, I can't really see that much. Like, but I could see myself going into, so usually we sit out here. Um, maybe I'll sit right here first. Uh, let me do a couple of pull-ups. Yeah, the hardest thing I think is trying to get everybody coordinated. And here's my dream. This has always been my dream. My dream has been, I fly in. I don't have any problem flying in, especially with the wheelchair access, right? So I fly in, and there's one night, maybe one day or one night, that we go to a restaurant. Everybody meets there, you know, get your own way of getting there. No, Nobody tells me how it's going to happen, but everybody just gets there, right? There's one restaurant. Hopefully, preferably Italian. Okay, see, I'm visualizing. But this has been my dream forever. It hasn't come true yet. And the whole family, the whole friggin' family, Brady family, Mystic Brady family, right? Mystic Brady bunch. And my kids. And my, I would love my stepdaughter to be there because I haven't gotten a chance to see her either. But that's the whole thing. She's driving... She's driving to live in a different state to be a traveling nurse. So I didn't get a chance to see her. But anyway, my dream is we get to this Italian restaurant and with the tables all set up, a big, huge table. Like when we were growing up, we had a picnic table. Yeah, it used to be outside. Then we brought it in, but then we shellacked it. <coughs> Not me, I was a little kid. I think my mother did. Or somebody shellacked it for her. Anyhow, it was a pic straight up picnic table because there were six kids and two adults, my mother and father. So that's eight people had to sit at the picnic table in the kitchen. Anyway, where are they going? Wait, where are you going? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> are you trying to leave? Where are you going? Away from her. <laughs> Where are you going at this hour? Back to the club? You going out shopping? You're gonna smoke? She did she cause you to smoke? Did she smoke all her cigarettes already? Are you getting her cigarettes? Oh, you're not gonna. You just going out, going to meet your girlfriend? No, my boyfriend. <laughs> All right, have fun. I wasn't invited. This is the non Brady night. <laughs> All right, have fun. Yeah, he thought he was gonna slip out of here without me knowing. He's trying to slip out of here. I gotta, I gotta find out from Patricia where he's going. He didn't want to tell me. He still didn't tell me. Anyway, so my dream. Oh, let me finish my dream. <coughs> I got sidetracked with Johnny escaping. So my dream is that we're at this big... We go into this Italian restaurant. And we're at this big table. And of course there's garlic bread and wine of every kind is um, red and white and Cabernet Sauvignon and batch wine that I love. But the most important thing is that almost everybody, just like last night, everybody's getting along. Everybody was laughing, interacting, and everybody's happy. And then especially my parents would be happy because watching over us in heaven I haven't seen any butterflies though. I guess it's not the it's not the time for butterflies in the East Coast, but there's plenty in the West Coast. There's plenty in Texas. Anyway, that's my dream. And then after a good meal, everybody just goes their own ways after hugging goodbye. 
and we're laughing and we're having a good time and nobody talks about well, I had to take an Uber here and I don't have the money for it nor I, I spent so much on gas just to get here um, you know why couldn't you just come to us no it was like everybody was just so happy nobody had to cook wash dishes everybody just even if we're getting pizza just pizza that's my favorite I can have that every day I literally could eat pizza every day I wouldn't miss anything else anyway so be it um yeah and then bruschetta would come out and zucchini from the olden days where they would shave it into slits and they would put a little parmesan cheese on the top and a little bit of lemon a little tiny bit of a lemon squirt um yeah that's the old-fashioned zucchini that's how they would make it um anyway probably not gonna happen okay because i'm gonna go back in there and uh, see about my phone calls and if I do call my some brothers and my brother and my sisters back um, They'll basically want me to come to their house But I can't go to the house and not see my daughter. I Have to go around her schedule and then I filled in I have three friends that I'm seeing one tomorrow for dinner and the, uh, the other two on Friday just like lunch probably from two to four then I'll I'll swing over to Laura's or I'll come back home and she'll come here whatever she, way, way she wants to do it and then Saturday night her and her girlfriend are going to cook for me cook dinner in their apartment so that should be fun um but basically then Sunday Monday Wednesday she goes back to work and I leave Tuesday so we gotta get, we gotta get cracking here. We gotta get some people in. And you know what? Even if I don't see them, I want to. If I don't, I am happy and grateful for all the things that I did. I saw my son uh, Wednesday, <clears throat> Wednesday through Friday morning. Friday morning he had to leave for the funeral, but then he came, drove all the way back to here to New York then he ha said to me last night I'm just gonna come I'll pick you up mom but I'm gonna have to leave by nine because I have to go all the way to Pennsylvania because there's a lot of deliveries coming and I said absolutely that'll be great I didn't give him a hard time or please baby stay with me no didn't do any of that I was a big girl and I was like that's great well the he stayed late he stayed like when we left, he left. So I think it was 11. So I was so shocked that he had such a great time. And by my kids having a great time, that made me so happy. My sister Patricia, husband John, were having a great time too, I believe. Okay, the only one that was mean was the, the bartender. He was the mean one. Patricia was right. He was definitely a mean one. Anyhow, guys, I'm sorry if I'm boring you. Let me go in. And again, you might not see this video until, um, because the Wi-Fi is not working. So I might upload it when I get home. Hello? That sounded creepy. Anybody here? Maybe I'll take a bubble bath tonight. Just not do my hair again, because I don't like to do my hair every day. It's such a hassle. Then the couch. See the doggy on the couch? Oh boy. Yeah. We got that a long time ago. Okay. Anyway, guys. I gotta tidy up this place. See you later. Namaste. Love you.